Hey, all you bougie babes and buttes. I hope you all are doing good. Welcome back to Shirley's Beauty Shack. But tonight, I want to share my garden with you. Right now, I've got 18 tomato plants. And sorry about this hot mess. Let me just tell you about this hot mess. Seriously, it's 96 degrees. It's 8 o'clock at night. And we have a fire. We actually have four going on in the state of Colorado. And right now one is in like Fort Collins area, just like 40 minutes north of us. It's really close and it is like big, I don't know, over 20,000 acres. And unfortunately, it's burning a lot of stuff down and it's hazy, hazy, hazy. Along with this video, I'm going to put in some pictures of the sun. Sorry, going down my nose itches the sun going down because I'm outside here in the garden and it's ashy I didn't get to that part but it's very fiery very ashy and um it's it's like hazy like it's like fog but it's not fog it's the ash from the fire which sucks so um guys this is part of my nightly routine in my garden I love my garden it is like my therapy so I'm going to try to flip this camera around, show you my garden and some red tomatoes. I had my first pull last night. There's a couple I've seen tonight that need to get pulled. And uh, I will pull those, but this is what it's about in the summer for me. Hey, baby girl. My dogs. This is the first year that I've been able to let them out in the garden with me. I have six raised garden beds, but only three have stuff in them because my beans and peas have already been pulled because they are a cool weather plant. And um, my radishes, I have already did one batch and then I never planted my batch two or my batch three, as you can usually get three batches here in Colorado of radishes because um, every 30 to it says every 28 days, but I usually do mine 30 to 38 days. Um, anything after that, unfortunately, your plants get a higher risk for disease and you get more bugs and and stuff. So, um, you can, I'm just going to see if I can flip this around. I'm not sure that I can. Ah, I could take a picture, but I'm going to try to turn it around. Guys, I restarted my camera only because... Little did I know, my camera really wasn't recording. So I really don't know what was on the other um, video that I just thought I had shot. So I just wanted to show you, I've got about 15 tomato plants total out here right now. Um, this is, again, like I said, this is my therapy. And here is just more um, these ones I got a shit ton of green ones it looks like I'm getting a shit ton of red ones coming in right now too so this is only one bed that I'm showing you guys and I've got two other beds over here Nikki Nunu get out baby girl again this is the oh that's Nala pretty bad um, so this is only the um, first year that I've really let allowed my dogs in my garden bed with me. Look at those big boys. Holy smokes are the chokes. So yeah, I need to get back out here after maybe tomorrow. Whew, that ash is killing my allergies for good sake. All right, so here is on the other bed. Now these ones aren't doing too good over here, honestly, and I'm not sure why, but tomatoes do get stunned after 90 degrees. Unfortunately, that's what's happening here. It's been in 90s for, I don't know, it's going to be a record of 45 days. So here is my, one of my cherry tomatoes. These normally don't make it in the house. They show a little bit deeper red on camera, but they're honestly really not. They're a melony color. And 
What happened when we plant them is they broke up. Hi, baby Nick. Is you in the garden? Is Noah your sister in the garden? Noah, what you sniffing, sweetie? So they do come and go out of the garden this year. They're three years old now. The first couple years they were not allowed to do that. They just come in here and sniff. They don't really get in the garden beds. So it's kind of like they know what they're doing. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. As this is, when I say I'm out in the garden, this is what I do. I water my 15 tomato plants. And then over there, you really can't see it, is my greenhouse that's got a couple tomato plants in there. And you can see a very large sunflower. But that sunflower, dude, you can see how hazy it is, and it's not just my camera, it is hazy. There's a wheelbarrow right there that's got some uh, flowers in it too, but I'm just going to kind of show you the camera up and above The fence line it's dark now, so it's not as easy to see um, But when it's lighter, it's definitely easy to see that the smoke and haze is out so guys, thanks for watching. I'm just going to fill up my water pail here um, so I can water my wheelbarrow so anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, again, this is one of my favorite things to do. I have really let this garden bed go as there was nothing in it this year other than weeds. I didn't uh, do carrots or anything this year. Baby Noah, Noah, what you doing, honey? Come in. You can come in here. You know you can. And sister too. Hi, sweet girls. Night, guys. Say night, night, Nick or Nunu. -nu. They love to drink out of this pail. Watch out. Here, I'll put it down for you. Here you go. And they're pretty good about sharing the pail. See? They are funny girls. All right, guys. Once again, have a good evening. Please subscribe to my channel. To put, put your notification bell on so then you never miss another upload. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content.